Sims 4, we're gonna be building tiny homes inspired by my favorite video games or the wholesome ones at least. The tiny homes we'll be building today will be inspired by Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, and Minecraft. Here is our lovely starting point. I love these every tiny home is a different blank challenges because I get to play with terrain. I always like to start these ones off with like the landscaping and everything already done so I can show you. I decided to go for a farmy theme today because I think it'll tie in nicely with all the themes that we'll be seeing. And apparently we're getting horses to The Sims 4 soon, so I'm just preparing. Just kidding, this is actually confirmed after me filming this. We are 100% getting horses in The Sims 4. I've never been a horse girl because my mom told me we were too broke for that when I was eight. Sometimes all I think about is you. Now is my time to shine, mom. We also have chickens over here. I needed to add at least a couple animals to our neighborhood. And up here, we're gonna have our three different homes. So we're gonna start over to the left here with Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is a social simulation game series created by Nintendo, where you can customize your own island and make adorable friends while doing it. This game brings back so many core memories for me. I remember playing this game as a kid and making a huge mess of my island by by digging up holes and never filling them in. A literal crime against humanity. I remember getting cozy in my bed playing Animal Crossing New Horizons while the world around me started falling apart, but it was okay because we were creating our own little islands and hunting for our favorite villagers for hours. Honestly, I wish I could replay that game for the first time again. So you can obviously customize your house a lot more in Animal Crossing, but the general shape of them tends to look like this. Very simple shell and roofing so I'm gonna aim for that for the exterior it's basically just gonna be like a block like that and a couple extra shell pieces on the outside I think I'm gonna pull it back a little bit just so I have room on the inside we're not gonna be able to get that two-story look in here we have not visited Tom Nook in a hot minute I'm just gonna see what it looks like with our roofing so I'm going in with just a gabled roof same thing for the other side and yeah we're gonna have to play around with this that seems about right I don't know what wallpaper to use on the outside. I really love the basic like all pink look there, but I'm also really into something like that. Okay, I think we're gonna go for this look with like that kind of wallpaper and we'll try and find a similar roofing too. So for roofing, I'm gonna be going with cottage living, a nice thatched moment. And we'll be using the cottage living trim there as well. I really wish we had some of these wallpapers in like that pastel blue. We really don't have any of these types of wallpapers in any other pastel. Pack. I'm just gonna work with what we got. For my door, I'm thinking we could go in with this one. I'm gonna use snowy escape windows up top and we'll use snowy escape windows here at the side too. I might add just one platform here leading up to the door and I'll just put a stone for that. I'll get a couple lights out here and I definitely need some kind of door decoration. Like one of these, I'm gonna put that right on my door. For my mailbox, I'm gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna use one of these right next to the door and I wanted to put some roofing details on here as well and I was thinking about using this from cottage living I might just have to like shrink it down how would that look on top here I think it looks kind of cute so far I want to put a big stump out here basically representing the crafting table I normally put mine like right beside the door so I'm gonna put one maybe just right here that might be a little big I'm just gonna shrink it a little bit but then maybe I can put like a real woodworking table around the back oh and we have to make a pathway leading to the back I feel like 99% of the time that I spent playing Animal Crossing, I spent laying path. So I'm just gonna continue the one that I had going here, but then I'm gonna make my own. We're gonna use that debug trick that I love to use with the stones. So I'm just doing like a dirt path first. I've got debug on, you're gonna use bb.show hidden objects and bb.show live edit objects as your cheat. We're gonna type in stone in the search bar and we're using these go to base game garden stones. I'm just gonna lay these down and make my path leading all the way back to the crafting table. If you guys are curious what my actual Animal Crossing Island looks like, I did a video a long time ago doing a little walkthrough and then building it in The Sims. So I'll link that video down below if you guys want to check that out. Animal Crossing is all about the fruit trees. So I'm trying to add like an apple tree. I know we have lemon trees as well. I'm actually downloading them off the gallery so that I can get them fully grown. We don't have to wait for them to like become trees. Oh, there's a few different colors 
kinds here too. I think it said lemon, pomegranate, and apple. So I'm just gonna move these and we can make our own little orchard. This can be part of the daily routine. You just come out here, you pick your apples and your fruit, and then we hope that we can sell them for enough to upgrade our house. <laughs> Wait, this stump looks kind of more accurate than the other one, so I'm gonna use that. It's basically just a chair that I sized up. Maybe I can add a bench out here. And I was thinking about using these wood pieces as another pathway, but I feel like it might look a little weird. I'm gonna add the flowers and we'll see how this all looks when we're done. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing here because it's gonna be the most annoying thing that I've ever done. <laughs> Animal Crossing flowers obviously have a very specific look. When you plant them, they come up as like three singular little flowers and the pattern repeats. In The Sims 4, they don't look like that. We have like bushes. We've got like some of these, but still not really the look I'm going for. So I found this, which is base game tulips in a vase, which I sized up and I'm raising up through the basement. Probably the most annoying way to ever do landscaping, but I feel like it's gonna look cute and a lot more accurate than what I was doing. Other plants I was considering are these here from Cool Kitchen. And again, I'm gonna size them up and go down into the basement. This is gonna take forever. Making sure I have the grid on and I'm raising them up, which is exactly what I did with all of the rocks too, by the way. Oh, this one could also work. So I'm just gonna be going in with this technique, basically just going around until all of my landscaping is done. Okay, this took me forever to do, but I really like how it turned out. This is our Animal Crossing tiny home on the outside. I raised up all of these flowers going around the side and I added this like signpost here. It reminded me very much of Animal Crossing. So we've got that. I have our crafting table back here and I added a little like <laughs> flower crossbreeding area with a unique color flower here that we have sprouted. I tried keeping it simple along the back. I have a bird bath. We have some actual gardening pots here and the flowers were a bit of a gamble here, but I like how it turned out and I feel like I might use it in the future. It adds so many other options for landscaping that way. Okay, we're ready to go inside. I think what we're gonna do here is add a bathroom in the back and the rest of it will be open concept. I feel like part of the fun in Animal Crossing is trying to figure out how to lay everything out in your house if you don't have a big one yet. Let's start out getting some wood. I think I'm just gonna use that there from base game. Actually, I might go with something lighter there and use the siding on the wall from cats and dogs. So I feel like Animal Crossing literally has this bed. So I could totally see us using something like this. I never use this bed, but I really like that swatch. I know they also have these starlights. So I think I might put that either over the window or we could do it over here even. Behind the bed board could be cute too. I'm gonna try and find some like matchy furniture. So I think I'm gonna use this for my end table. That's from kids room stuff. I'm also gonna use this dresser over here as well. Maybe in white. Oh, and there's a matching mirror we could use too. So I'm gonna put that like right here. I wonder if I could actually section this part off and raise it up on a platform. It could be like a cute way to divide the room a little bit. I know we have a plant similar to this one in Animal Crossing. So I'm just gonna put that over here in the corner. Oh, and I love the moon furniture in Animal Crossing. Some of my favorite furniture pieces are from like the celestial stuff. So definitely including a cute little moon lamp right there. We do have hanging plants, thankfully in Animal Crossing. So I'm gonna put some of these. I don't know why, but I feel like this pillow would match. Okay, so far this is our bedroom. It looks so cozy. I added some book clutter over here. I feel like I've seen those stacked books in Animal Crossing. These are actually really cute because they actually act as tables too. So I could even put a plant on there if I wanted to. And now we can turn around to the other side and this is where we're gonna do our kitchen, living room and dining. I think I could put my kitchen maybe over here in this corner. So I'm using country kitchen counters and I just like wrapped them around in there like that. And I think I might bring them out a little here too. I think I could get an oven in that corner and my sink could maybe go under the window. And I kind of want to change that wallpaper in there just to something a little different. So I'm using high school years wallpaper, like this honeycomb one. I need to leave some room for prep here, but I can put at least a plant in the corner. I feel like the book nook clutter would look really cute over here too. Oh, actually that one there with the mug. Okay, that can be like a cookbook. I really wanted to add these somewhere because I know we have those in Animal Crossing, but I think in here, I'm just going to add like a knife set or even this. And we can put a cutting board here too. Oh, cute. I really like that little corner. I'm also adding these curtains over here to the side from growing together in this blue. And I feel like we should be able to fit a dining table right here. It might not be the biggest one. I was picturing maybe something like this with like some simple chairs 
colors, maybe these from Cats and Dogs. I added some last minute clutter there on the dining table and now we need to figure out how to do our living room. We could use a divider here. This is a base game one. Then I think we could use this couch here from the book nook kit. I don't know, do we need the divider? I feel like it might actually take away more room, which we do not need here. Maybe instead I'll divide this area just with a plant. I'm also gonna add a plant over here in this corner. Oh my gosh, you know what I wanted to add and I was thinking about but we haven't added yet? The froggy chair. We have to put the froggy chair. It's not exactly the same as the one we have in Animal Crossing but I feel like I can't really put it in my house. I'm gonna put it out here and we'll make like a little seating area. We can have the froggy chair and the dog because the dog is just so cute and we can use a stump there as well. Look at that little area. I needed to include that froggy chair. If I forgot about that, oof, I would be so mad. Okay, so here is our Animal Crossing inspired interior. I ended up changing the table color over here to match my chair that I added last minute. This chair from the pastel pop kit reminded me of some of like the fruit chairs that we have in game. So I added that over here. I had a little bit of space there anyway. We've got our bedroom over to this side with our book clutter. I added a bookshelf over here. Over to this side, I added a shelf with some like spray for the garden. And we have our living room area over here as well with another pillow on the ground. I do still need to do my bathroom. So we're gonna move from here and do that. I feel like Animal Crossing bathrooms, I would like never focus on because like, I feel like there wasn't really a point but we're gonna use maybe this wallpaper here could match really nicely. We're gonna put a bathtub in the middle and actually thinking about it now, I feel like Animal Crossing bathrooms, I would just put a bunch of random stuff in there. So maybe we can do something like that. I need like a random statue to put beside the toilet or something. Like something like this. I feel like I would have something like that in Animal Crossing and be like, this is cute, but I don't know where to put it. I'm just gonna shove it right here in the bathroom. <laughs> it's perfect. Actually thinking about it now, this is probably gonna be the most relevant bathroom we have in the whole place. No one's using the bathroom in Minecraft or Stardew Valley. So, okay, I've got a sink there. We've got my mirror. I'm adding this light in here and maybe I'll put those curtains in here from Eco Lifestyle. There, this is cute. I love our random little statue. I actually like the color scheme in here too. I added some towels over here on this wall and I feel like it ties together nicely with the rest of the house too. Okay, so this has been our Animal Crossing inspired tiny home. We are finally ready to move on to the next one, which will be Minecraft. Minecraft is a sandbox adventure game where you can build, explore, and survive some pretty scary <laughs> monsters. Nothing like getting cozy and relaxed, ready to build yourself a nice little home in Minecraft, only to have a creeper blow it up and scare the absolute crap out of you. So obviously when you're building in Minecraft, you're using blocks and pretty much only blocks. So you're gonna end up with a very like unique style of home. Obviously a very different look than the Sims, but I want to figure out a way to bring in the blocky aspect. So I think for my house, I'm going to start off by building something here, but we're not going to put anything there. We're going to end up deleting that. So I'm actually going to build my house up here like this, and maybe we'll leave this part open for a deck or something. I'm going to go in with some columns. I'm going to put those around all of my four corners and also in the middle here. And then underneath there, I'm going to go in with some spandrels. I'm going to use these ones here from Seasons. And this whole whole part is going to be open. For my roof, I'm gonna again keep it simple. I'm just gonna do a gabled roof piece here and we'll pull it back. And then I'm gonna rotate and use the same one right there. And for my wallpaper, I think I might go in with like just some cobblestone. Okay, now for the fun part, we need to figure out how to make this look boxy like Minecraft. And when I was searching for items here, I found this ottoman from Spa Day. And in brown, I feel like I could use this to my advantage here. I'm not gonna go ahead and build the entire house with these blocks because I will be filming this forever. But what I am gonna do is go around the bottom here with these. So I'm basically just gonna line the bottom going all the way around my house with these until I've completed it. I'm debating on also using these as columns down below and just like stacking them up on top of each other. And then in between where I have these awkward parts, I wanna take this hedge, very blocky looking, and I'm gonna just put that on the corners like that. I feel like I would use these hedge pieces in Minecraft all the time for building. So 
this is actually gonna work out pretty well. So along the top, we have all of those blocks placed so far. I think I'm gonna do something similar along the bottom too. I can even like place these in the middle of the columns down below, but we do have fences in Minecraft. So I could try and find one that looks similar. I was thinking even just this one here from Snowy Escape. I'm gonna delete the flooring that's in there because I'm planning on doing like a garden. Maybe I can use the cottage living garden patches here and we can just like fill this whole thing in as a garden. You can plant like wheat in here or something. So I've got those. And what I also wanna do, no Minecraft house is complete without a treasure room. So I'm gonna go in and build a basement underneath our garden. I'm gonna place a ladder there. So the ladder will lead down to our treasure area. And then down here, we're just gonna put a bunch of treasure. I'm gonna use like dirt flooring. We haven't quite upgraded this one yet. Let's do dirt wallpaper as well. And can I find like torches? You guys know the ones I'm talking about, the literal sticks with fire on them, <laughs> like the tiny ones. I mean, we do have these. This might be as close as we're gonna get. They don't really put off a whole lot of light though, do they? Okay, we're just gonna do that. And now we need to find our treasure chest. We have a few options here. We've got these ones from the basement kit, which I think could look cool. We've got these ones we could use, or we have these. Where are these? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I think for my treasure chest, I'm gonna use these ones. These are from the kids room stuff. Surprisingly getting a lot of use out of that pack today. And I'm just gonna stack them on top of each other. Like I feel like my Minecraft treasure rooms at least are like just piles of treasure boxes on top of each other. And I'm notorious for having my treasure boxes in Minecraft like a disaster. No organization, but I will put up a couple signs in here. I was actually looking to see if I could find any labels. Like I could literally shrink these and just put them over top of things, but I can only find these ones specifically, which look like possibly diamond tools. So I mean, all we have here is diamond and like four signs. Okay, I'm also gonna put a crafting table in the middle just because that's where I would put mine normally. So we'll put a crafting table right in the middle. Okay, so here is our Minecraft treasure room. I actually... <laughs> this turned out pretty funny. The signs over here don't really make the most sense other than like these ones. This area right here is pretty much it. We've got our crafting table in the middle. The torches are all lit up there in live mode. I think this is pretty good. Okay, we're ready to move from our treasure room back up to the main area. I have a couple more things I wanna do before we actually do the upstairs, which is making a tree that looks like a Minecraft tree. So I'm just gonna go in with my room tool and make a block there. I need a wood texture. I could maybe use like that there. And then I'm gonna grab these hedges again. And I'm basically just gonna make my own tree. I'm gonna stack them around like this. And then I'm gonna stack them on top of each other, basically just putting them around until we get a tree shape, which this literally feels like building in Minecraft. <laughs> There, that looks kind of like a Minecraft tree, right? I also need to put somewhere just like a random hole. <laughs> this is like you got stuck in a mine somewhere and you dug your way back up and didn't fill in the hole. I am guilty, yes, of doing that. There it is. <laughs> We're gonna do a very square-like dirt pathway here, I guess leading all the way to the stairs. And for my windows and doors, I wish for the windows I could just like punch out a block. I need like very basic windows, like I guess those could work there from base game and for our door it's probably just gonna be something simple like this and I'll delete a couple of our blocks okay this is what our Minecraft house turned out like I feel like this so funny with that tree on the side. I also added some mushrooms around just to represent like the mushroom biome. I felt like it needed something, so I just threw those in there. Our pathway is looking nice and boxy here. And with that, we're ready to go inside. So again, on the interior here, we are going to be having to do all boxy furniture. I'm gonna use some wood for this. I've been using this base game wood. I'm gonna use a wood wallpaper in here too. And for now, I'm adding these lights. But I did have another idea, which we could also use for our treasure room. Snowy Escape has these chains here. They're like rain chains and we could raise these up into the ceiling and hang lanterns off of them. When I played Minecraft, I played on my Switch, so I was never able to use any mods. So you kind of have to get creative in the type of furniture you can make. And this is one thing I did all the time was make like lighting out of lanterns and chains. It's a little bit annoying because I can't shrink them. So they're going to be going up into the roofing. But as long as they're not peeking through, I feel like that's going to be fine. I'm going to 
section off an area for the bathroom, which I think might just be right here. And I think I'm gonna keep everything else open here as well. My bed is just gonna be a little single bed. I was thinking we could either do like a single bed or I could put them together like two single beds like that. And I need like the boxiest looking bed I can find. I might actually just use this. We could get away with using some bookshelves here too. So I'm gonna just make an area like that. I could probably get away with using the chest there too as my dresser. This probably seems weird if you haven't played the game, but I use fences a lot for decoration in Minecraft. So I'm using these lines here from Eco Lifestyle as decor. And I think I'm literally gonna put these in my house. <laughs> this is a challenge in itself because I don't think I can use any proper plants really, unless it's like a very simple like square pot like this I can see myself using. Maybe also the bamboo as well. There are random pictures in the game. So I'm just putting up like this base game one and I feel like that's gonna be it for my bedroom area. I wanna turn around and do the kitchen because the kitchen is the most important part. I feel like, I don't know how we're gonna get this to look proper. Okay, I think I'm gonna use this one here from Snowy Escape. I want this to still work as like a functioning house for Sims too. So we need to have like a healthy medium. I need like the most basic counters we have. So I'm using these ones from base game. I think I'm gonna put a mini fridge, just keeping with the boxy theme. And then for my sink, we could just do something like that. My trash can is gonna be this one here. And I really wanna download this creeper art, which by the way, all of the Minecraft art I'm finding is from this gallery name here. And I love this comment. It says, wow, I just can't believe it. Believe it. Okay, this guy is gonna go right in the middle here. Or maybe we make him massive. No, let's put him like that. We're gonna put some more hedges inside my house. This is so weird for a Sims house. I can't get over it. For my dining table and chairs, I'm using these here, which look like they were just crafted from wood and like thrown together like they would be in Minecraft. And maybe for my carpet here, I'm gonna use a patch of grass because you know what? Why not? All right, the final thing I need to do in this room is a couch over here. I'm not gonna be putting a TV or anything fancy like that. I'll probably put some more bookshelves actually. So just like that. And for my couch, these chairs here from Discovery University look pretty blocky. And I have this table here from the Desert Lux kit, which is just perfect. This is interesting. This is really something here. I feel like it kind of captures the Minecraft aesthetic, especially with like the bookshelves and the lanterns there. Definitely not easy to pull off, especially if we're going for like something your Sims can actually use. I do like the bed area though. I feel like the best part of this is over here. Like that part looks so cozy. We do have one final area in here though, which is going to be at the bathroom. Again, not really necessary in a Minecraft house. I don't even know how you would pull that off to be honest, but I think I'm again gonna use like a makeshift wooden toilet. Is there a matching sink for that? Maybe not, but we can find something blocky looking. We'll do just like a blocky mirror. And then over on the other side, I think I can probably fit a shower right there, which just to keep the homemade look, I'm gonna use this one here from Outdoor Retreat. This is such a sad bathroom. I really want to clutter in here. We could maybe put up like another very random picture like that. And that's gonna be our bathroom. Pulling these off in a way that matches the aesthetic and the building design of these games is a challenge in itself. <laughs> but this is our farm town so far. We have one more house to do, which is going to be inspired by Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a simulation role-playing game where you inherit a farm from your deceased grandfather. Sounds a little dark, but your job is to take care of the farm, grow your skills, and get to know the Stardew Valley residents. I have spent so many hours playing this game. I think I'm on year five, maybe year six, but it's been a long journey. If you guys play Stardew Valley, I need to know who your village crush is. Mine is Abigail, but I can't help but notice Sebastian across the way either, so we're in a pickle. So same as Animal Crossing, you can work to grow your Stardew house, but I feel like generally they all kind of look the same. I'm building two stories here so that I can get the roofing to look right. I'm basically taking this half gabled roof piece here and bringing it up to level with the second floor. I'm gonna bring that across and we're gonna copy and paste that for the other side. And then up top here, I'm going to put a gabled roof piece and I'm just gonna shrink it all the way down so it's flat. Bringing in the adjusters on the side as well. And I feel like generally that's the shape that I'm going for. I do also want to put a silo. I think I'm gonna stick that on the back here and we're just gonna go up like three 
three levels. And then on top of there, we can just do a circular roof and round it out. So that's gonna kind of look like the silo for it. I think I'm gonna go classic here with just a red roof. We'll do red trim. And then for my wallpaper, I might use this one here from Island Living. And then for this over here, I think I'm gonna do some red brick. And I think I also wanna build out a little deck here. So I'm just gonna take a flooring piece, bring that all the way over and we're gonna raise it up. And I think I'm gonna use this foundation paint here from Get Famous. I'm gonna use this red door here from Cottage Living, the same as the Animal Crossing one. And I need some red windows. There's these base game ones, base game coming in clutch today. Okay, the lighting on this lot right now is not doing the greatest, but this is so far what we have. I wonder if I could rotate this whole thing without ruining everything. I'm scared. Okay, that lighting is perfect. Next thing I'm gonna do is go and get some barrels. I feel like for me and Stardew, they're either like right here or over to this side. Oh, this looks exactly like the storage bin, which is normally over here, but I don't have room. Maybe I'll just kind of like put it over here like that. For my treasure chest this time, I'm gonna be using these ones here from base game. I'm gonna put a mailbox right over here and I'm just gonna flatten the terrain a little bit over here so we could actually get there. This cats and dogs plant could be perfect for out here too. Also from get together, I'm gonna be putting these out here. I'm probably gonna be putting a couple like that. Do I have room for a cow barn over here? I don't, but I feel like I could make some. There, I cleared out a little area for the cows and I feel like that's gonna be perfect for them. It'll make sense for them to wander around too. I always just like open the barn doors in Stardew Valley and let them run. I might just add like a couple patches here for more gardening if we want that. And I mean, that's pretty much our Stardew house on the outside. I feel like that totally pulled together everything. Why is there random fire here from the torches downstairs? Are they gonna just keep burning like that? Okay, I think I fixed it. We are ready to go inside for our Stardew house. And I feel like Stardew in general, everything is very warm toned. So I'm gonna be putting up some lighting like this, I think. And also this makes literally no sense, but I think I'm gonna make the silo into my bathroom. And we also have the upstairs too, which like in Stardew, we don't normally have, but in this case for the roofing to work, I needed to add one so we could do like an upstairs bedroom. But okay, first thing we're gonna do is the classic kitchen. Our kitchen is going to be over here. I'm gonna use that flooring and the wallpaper you can change up in Stardew Valley. So we're not really stuck with like a certain one. I might use like a blue wallpaper. Oh my gosh, this is giving a base game starter home. Okay, no, we're gonna go purple. <laughs> These kitchens tend to be pretty generic. So I'm gonna do my fridge right here. I need brown counters with a sink right here. And we're gonna do a cabinet above that. Then we normally have an oven. I'm gonna use this one. And one thing I decorate a lot with in Stardew Valley are the little plant wall decals. So I'm gonna add these behind everything basically like that. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. I am still limited on room. So I'm gonna bring my counters this way and we could maybe do a fireplace. Like I was thinking this one here from Eco Lifestyle right there. I need to leave one of these open for prep but I could put a plant or something on this counter here. And you don't even actually see this perspective in Stardew Valley ever. It's always just like this. So even going over here feels weird. So I'm just gonna add a cute plant right there and we can put our dining table right in the middle. For my dining table, I just want like a plain wood one like this maybe. All of my chairs are actually mismatching in game, but we're gonna ignore that. And I might extend this flooring over just a little bit more so that I can fit the table. Cute. Okay, I feel like we're actually matching the aesthetic a lot better than I expected. I really think it's these decals doing it for me. Okay, so over here is my Stardew inspired kitchen and dining. And we're gonna turn around and add, oh, what are we gonna put over here? Maybe we could do the TV. We could add the TV over here. So I actually wanna use this one here as my TV. I need to put it on something. It's gonna have to be a small table, maybe something like this. I'm gonna add just a regular like green rug, I think. And over here I can put a couch. I was honestly thinking a base game one again today. I don't know what it is. I don't know why the base game ones are working so well here. Or you know what? No, we're gonna level up. We're gonna use this one here from the Desert Lux kit. For my chair, I'm gonna use this one from the basement kit. Oh, I need a calendar. Or better yet, we'll use this bulletin board here. I'm gonna maybe put up a farming picture over here from Cottage Living. Even like something like that could work. We could put a couple of these. And my new obsession is using this here as my table. Okay, so over to this side is our Stardew Valley inspired living room. I was gonna put a coffee table in the middle here, but I feel like it's gonna be a high traffic area going into the bathroom over there. So I'm just gonna leave it open. We're gonna do the bathroom over here, get that out of the way, and then we can go up and do the bedroom. I feel like for the bathroom, I could maybe use that flooring there. And I was considering maybe this wallpaper from Cottage Living. It's gonna be a little awkward with this octagon shape, but we can put our toilet 
it right here. Can I get a bathtub in here? Actually, I think we should be okay. I'm gonna switch this over and then we should be able to put a sink over here on this side. I feel like that's gonna work out. And I have some room back here. I could put a plant behind the bathtub. We're kind of going astray here a little bit, but this could be a really good spot to just like hide a couple plants. I'm gonna add a bathroom window here just because and we'll add a little bath mat here as well. So there is our bathroom and we have one final room to do, which is going to be our bedroom. This is the bed that I wanted to use that I feel like looks just like the one in Stardew Valley. We're also gonna need a dresser. I can't block that area right there. So I'm trying to find something skinny enough to fit in that corner. I guess we could use this tiny living one. I'm again gonna use a green rug. I'm using this one here from City Living. I'm using this end table here from High School Years. And I think on there, I'm gonna add this phone. Not that it's functional, but it'll at least represent the phone that we have in Stardew. I'm gonna add another plant here at the end of the bed. Maybe a mirror can go right here. And another thing you can decorate a lot with in Stardew Valley are these banners. I feel like I'm always putting things like this up in my house and not really an item that I use too often. So it's kind of fun incorporating these. And I'm adding this random bookshelf right at the end of my bed. Okay, there is my Stardew Valley inspired bedroom. This is really fun and actually pretty challenging to do. Like designing all of these houses in an aesthetic that is not the video game that I'm playing. It was pretty tricky, but very fun to try out. Let me know which one was your favorite. What is your favorite game of all the ones that we've done today? If you guys have any ideas for any tiny homes you want to see in the future, let me know. I will link the playlist down below with every tiny home is a different blank challenges. And if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.